We all believe we'd run into the burning building. But until we feel that heat, we can never know. You do. You don't have to be some insanely knowledgeable movie buff to know who Christopher Nolan is, or at least to be familiar with his work. And you know his latest project just screams Nolan. Life after death, rewinding time, saving the world. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. But I know what you're thinking. What the freak is Tenet? I'm trying to understand it. Feel it. Good advice, but in case that doesn't work, here's everything we know about the new film. But wait just a sec. Before we dive in, go hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. There's still a ton to learn about Nolan's new project, so you're gonna wanna stick around for all the latest. That test you passed? Not everybody does. Welcome to the afterlife. Welcome indeed, and I know what you're thinking, just tell me what's going on in this movie. Honestly, at first, I had no idea either. Time is going backwards and he's dead. Is it like zombie Doctor Who? I don't see. Get it, David Tennant? <laughs> anyway. No, it is not, but right now, plot details are a guessing game for everyone. I'm not kidding. Even IMDb's synopsis reads more like a question, possibly about a man trying to prevent World War III through time travel and rebirth. It also doesn't help that the only synopsis we get from Warner Brothers is that it's an action epic evolving from the world of international espionage. Yeah, uh, thanks for clearing that up. And while the enigma of Tenet is definitely what's getting everyone so hyped to see it in theaters, here's what I could gather from just about every trailer analysis on the internet. First of all, the title itself is a clue to the plot. Tenet is part of the Satyr Square, a five-word Latin palindrome. AKA, it reads the same four words as it does backwards. The Satyr Square can be read from left to right, top to bottom, right to left, bottom to top, and so on. And is probably a hint at how time is viewed in the film from several different perspectives. In the trailer, we learn that the film starts out with some kind of test for the main character in which he dies and is reborn as a spy for some secret organization charged with stopping the next world war. Nuclear Holocaust. No. Something worse. Ah, coronavirus. Of course, some kind of bending of time is involved, but it's unclear whether these secret agents actually travel back in time or can fixate on one particular item or event and put it in reverse, so to speak. Or, as the final scene of the trailer teases, It'll happen here. Hasn't happened yet. Perhaps time isn't being reversed by the agents, but they simply have the ability to witness and explore events before they happen. Whatever it is, it's complicated, in classic Nolan fashion, but all will likely make sense when we see the film, as he has a way of making this type of subject matter palatable for your average audience. A few other clues we got from the trailer is that a decent amount of the film might take place at sea, this guy's probably good, and this guy's probably bad, and that the word tenant will act as a kind of key for our main character. It'll open the right doors some of the wrong ones too. So, now that we have a slightly better idea as to what the heck is going on, let's dive into the cast and crew. Obviously, Christopher Nolan wrote, directed, and produced the film. John David Washington stars as the lead, who we see recruited at the beginning of the trailer. You might also recognize him from Spike Lee's Black Klansman and HBO's Ballers. Robert Pattinson seems to portray that character's partner, though his experience at the organization relative to Washington's character is unknown. He could be training the new recruit, or have been recruited at the same time. The only thing we know for sure is that Tenet is definitely setting Pattinson up as the action star we need in Matt Reeves' new Batman film. Also starring in this film is Elizabeth Debicki, who recently received praise from critics and fans alike for her work in 2018's Widows. You may also recognize her from the franchise sequels The Cloverfield Paradox and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Also seen in the trailer was Martin Donovan, who appears to be a figurehead at the spy organization, Michael Caine, that supposedly good guy we mentioned earlier, and Kenneth Branagh, the implied bad guy. A few more notable names attached to the project include Yesterday's Hamish Patel, Harry Potter alum Claymont's Poise, and Avengers Age of Ultron star Aaron Taylor Johnson. Needless to say, this cast is stacked, again in classic Nolan fashion. 
So now that we're all totally on board for this movie, you'll be happy to know it's still expected to be released July 17th of 2020. However, with theaters closed due to health concerns and several major pictures being pushed from their original release dates, it's still unclear whether Tenet will keep that date. Nolan has been pretty vocal about the need to support theaters during this time of quarantine, but hasn't mentioned anything about Tenet's release. So we just have to take it one day at a time until July, and in the meantime, pray for another trailer. Let me know what you think of Nolan's upcoming film in the comments, and let me know if you caught anything else in the trailer that might be a hint as to what the hell is going on in this film. While you're down there, hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. It's the best way to stay up to date on all things Tenet and other major movie news.